First Alert Forecast with meteorologist David Harker, only on Fox 47 News at 10. We actually have some breaking news before we get to the forecast. The Triumph ship that was stuck in the Gulf of Mexico, it's actually docked in Mobile, Alabama. Of course, that was the ship that was stranded. It's been stranded since Sunday, and a tugboat was actually pulling it in. Well, earlier today, one of those straps, it broke, so that mm. delayed the process even more. But the cruise ship, it has docked, so passengers, they're now starting to deboard. We'll have more on that story uh, tomorrow at 5.30. But talking about the forecast now, Valentine's Day. Uh, much of the same in store for tomorrow, David. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. We'll, see, we'll see a little bit more, less cloud cover toward Good. the evening hours. Mm -hmm. We'll have to deal with some clouds, maybe a little snow shower activity to start out, at least going into the morning commute. And it could be some slick roadways where precipitation has already, or any snowfall has already melted throughout the daytime today. Let's take a look at the Doppler radar to get you started out this forecast. And there are the scattered snow showers. They're making their way through parts of mid Michigan. If you are planning on traveling off to the west toward Lake Michigan tomorrow, you're going to have to be ready for it, folks, because more snow is in the forecast. There are lake effect snow or watches all along the lake shore. But for the rest of us, all is quiet at least for the time being. Be ready to see a little bit of accumulation the further west you go, although I anticipate most places off to the east of 131. We should be okay. Could see a little bit of a dusting in some areas. As we take a look at the current or the temperatures across the area earlier today, Pretty close to the 40 degree mark. It was a nice day. 42 degrees in Lansing. At least it was a nice day temperature wise. 41 in Mason, 41 in Charlotte. Once you get down to Battle Creek and cold water, only a degree off 40, but still very pleasant for this time of the year compared to what we should be seeing. Those temperatures in the middle 30s. Only a few degrees warmer, but hey, feels like spring with those kind of 40 degree temperatures. The temperatures right now holding steady pretty close to the freezing mark all across mid Michigan, but you got to factor in a wind. 15 to 20 mile per hour winds brings the temperature down to the touch of the skin. Almost 10 degrees in some areas feels like 22 degrees currently in Lansing 24. Once you get down to Mason you're showing up in 23 degrees in Howell, and Howell even closer to the tri state and Hillsdale at 23 degrees as well. Across the region we could always be colder. Take a look toward Manistee and even up toward Pelston up to our north 25 degree temperatures on the other side of the lake in Green Bay 25 but behind that frontal boundary teens. I don't anticipate teens across the area tonight, although some place to the north could see that most of us should be in the lower and middle 20s, and I think a little bit of that cloud cover will help out as well. Snow showers still expecting to make their track in as this departing low pressure system brings in a lot of that colder air, that west northwest wind we've been dealing with all evening long. Expect more of a northwesterly wind as that system presses off to the east and expect to see a little more lake effect snow with the cold air over the warm lake waters of Lake Michigan over the next 24 to 48 hours. Take a look 48 hours in time and you'll see the cloud cover by 7 a.m. on Friday. Roadways, there may be some slick spots because of any snow melt, although most places are pretty clear anyway. It's mainly the local roads that have a little bit of the slick spots. I do anticipate clouds throughout the daytime Friday, maybe adding in a snow snow shower early in the day and we'll see a more chance of a lake effect snow shower activity going into the daytime Saturday. Accumulation shouldn't be much, not even a dusting in some areas. So whatever's left on the ground, that's what you'll see over the next couple of days across mid Michigan. Overnight forecast shoot for 21 degrees. You may vary by a degree or two. West northwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. How about you 1 800 Hanson weather kid? Lucy's got the right idea. She's ready for a bit of a chill to start out the day and will actually be dropping the temperatures all afternoon. High 29. That should be right around noontime, if not a little earlier. Expect 22 degrees for the commute home tomorrow. We go seven days out. We expect to see one day close to 40 degrees in this forecast that comes on the holiday. Most people have it off, at least the government agencies. I know kids no, we'll have it working. off. Yeah, we'll be working <laughs> hard for you and expect to see return to winter and a chance of snow showers in town late next week. And look at those lows. Some of the lows in the teens once again, huh? Yeah, we're finally getting the full effect of winter, even though it really <laughs> hasn't felt like winter the past couple of months. All right. Thanks a lot, David.